along this giant sandbar here, there are tons of hermit crabs. Three, two, one. Holy cow! What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be catching a cleanup crew for the mini saltwater pond. If you don't know what a cleanup crew is, it's pretty much a bunch of little invertebrates that eat the food that the bigger fish don't eat. This is definitely something we need. So, we got the bucket, we got the net. Let's head out there and see what we can catch. Grab some water. When you catch stuff, we'll bring it back to this bucket and examine it. Oh my gosh, already. Big old hermit crab right here. Oh my gosh, she's coming out. She's coming out. Oh, don't get too close to me, buddy. You're really hairy. You look like a tarantula. Ah! Probably won't take this guy. He's a little big for the mini pond. This is the size, though. Once we get some for the big saltwater pond, this is the size we're going to have to go after. So let this guy go for right now. Put him right there back on the rock. Look at that. That's actually a good sized one right there. He's just crawling. Now it is a low tide, so all these hermit crabs are starting to come out. But um, there's a good size one right there. We'll add them to the bucket. Look at the colors on this one. Get him in the sunlight. He's got like a checkered pattern. Black, a little bit of yellow. And right inside there is a hermit crab. Look at this one right here. He's on the rock, man. Let's see what we got here. And you can actually see when they're blue legs. They actually have little blue legs. There's another good size. Oh, he's coming out too. Hey, buddy. Why are they like picking at my finger? Look at them all on this rock here. So these are sea snails. And these will help clean up all the algae on the side of the pond. So we'll definitely bring some of these home. There's actually a good amount on this rock here. We'll take a couple. And these guys will benefit the pond tremendously. Yo, look at all the hermit crabs crawling around. Ah. Snail stuck to my feet. Honestly, a really pretty snail, wow. Now we're just looking through all these rocks right here because this is mostly where all the little hermit crabs hang out. See some crabs crawling on these rocks, everything. Got another little snail right there. This may be a little blue legged hermit crab. I think it is, but you can see completely different shell colors. Get him in the bucket. Now we're probably gonna need, if I had to say, say like three dozen hermit crabs. And as of right now, we have about half a dozen. So let's keep catching. What's this little guy? Anything in there? Oh yeah. So this is actually a snail shell that a hermit crab took over. You can see it's the same exact shell. And that's what they do. We're actually gonna have to bring some other shells with us that are empty. Cause once they get bigger, they'll actually try to change shells in. We don't want them fighting, so we'll get some extra ones. Whew, we are in the bathroom right now, but that's because today's video is sponsored by Harry's. So you may ask yourself, what is Harry's? Well, Harry's is a razor brand that's re-imaging and reinventing the personal care industry. But one reason Harry's is so special is that they're much more than just a man's razor. They're designed for anyone wanting a smooth, comfortable shave at a fair price. One of many reasons I personally use Harry's is the convenience of them showing up right to your front door. They do offer a subscription service, so you'll never have to worry about getting new razors. Every month, you'll have new ones right there. So in this starter set here, we have a five blade German engineered razor, a weighted texture handle, a shave gel with aloe, and lastly, a travel blade cover. It feels so good. It's like a cool feeling right on the side of your face on your pores, honestly it feels amazing. I'm all gelled up, let's start shaving. This is one of the smoothest razors I've ever used in my life. Ooh! So if you want a nice clean shave too, make sure you go check out Harry Starter Kit, valued at $13, but using my link right here on the screen, you'll receive it for just $3. Thank you Harry's for sponsoring today's video, let's get back into it. you oh my that's a hermit crab that's a pretty shell but what i'm assuming happened here is you know those little conch we find well the hermit crabs actually take over the conch shells so assuming that's what happened here because that looks like a conch shell and uh the hermit crab made his home there oh my gosh that's got to be the biggest puffer fish i've ever seen 
Look at him. Oh, look at all the fish right now. This is insane. We got mangrove snapper and sergeant majors everywhere. I have never seen this many in my life. There's all different types of fish. Little baby barracuda right here. <laughs> Dude, that's a good size one. That's a cool shell. I don't think there's anything in the shell, so we'll take it, but look at it, it's like bluish. It's crazy. I think this may be a blue leg here. No, it's crazy. I haven't seen one blue leg hermit crab. We used to catch them all the time. I think these are just like your common hermit crabs. They just have brown legs. But the blue ones, you'll literally see they're bright blue. And I haven't seen one yet. Now, if you ever want to do this yourself, if you just go to like any local sandbar, that's pretty much where they hang out. If you look at the sandbar right now, there's a bunch of little algae and stuff. So that's what they eat. And that's the main reason they're pretty much here. What do we have going on here? Oh, bro, look at how many sergeant majors and fish are from up here. Wow, got a good looking bucket right there. All different kinds of hermit crabs. We'll get some more, but um, looking good so far. Nice snail, oh my gosh. Dude, that thing is stuck on there. God. Look at that. There are a bunch of sea creatures on this rock right here. We got snails, hermit crabs, that's a snail. That's a snail. And then there's a really cool snail right here. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, it's orange. It's literally orange. Bro, his name has to be Halloween. <laughs> okay, well we'll take all three of these snails. Really, really cool looking. Not only are these guys gonna benefit the pond, but they're really cool looking too. Bro, what the? This is puffer fish. Heaven. Look at all of them. There's one coming at your feet. Oh, there he goes. Bro, there's so many fish down here. I'm gonna go down there and see if I can get a shot on the GoPro. Wow. Sergeant majors everywhere. Mangrove snapper, lane snapper, puffer fish, parrot fish. Dude, we gotta come back and get some for the pond. We just need bright color schooling fish. I think we're good on hermit crabs. We got about two dozen in this bucket. It is the mini pond, so we should be good. See you guys back at the house. We are back home. These guys have been acclimating for about 45 minutes. They're looking good. We got our snails actually on the side of the bucket here. Look at this. So right here, we got a snail. Then right over here, we got a hermit crab. So pretty much all we got today were hermit crabs and snails, but uh, that's pretty much all a cleanup crew consists of is hermit crabs and snails. So first handful, no one in. Look at our barracuda checking them out. By the way, he's doing awesome. He's just hanging out right there in the rock. Another big handful. All hermit crabs and snails. I love how we just, they're all different kinds, so. Not all identical. Get these snails off. Oh, ah. Put these ones on the rock here. I'll leave it up. Okay, we'll get the rest of them in. And that is all the hermit crabs. Ooh. Once they all start coming out of their shells and moving around, it's gonna be epic. They're gonna be climbing on all these rocks all throughout the pond, just life going. This was a good idea. Not only are they gonna look cool, but all this little food, if you look real closely here, this is all little food that the puffer fish like eat and then they push it through their gills, the smaller pieces. So all that will get eaten up by these hermit crabs. It won't just be on the ground like that. That's the main reason we picked up these guys. So like I said, not only are they gonna look cool, but they're gonna benefit the mini pond tremendously and everything's gonna work out the way it's supposed to, so. Now our puffer is checking them out. He'll try to eat them, but most of the time the hermit crabs go in their shells and they can't end up breaking them. Unless they're like a really big puffer fish, I don't think they're big enough to break those shells. And as you can see, we got some of them starting to move around. Okay. Oh, he munched it. 
And see how like he only took half of it and sometimes it all breaks up. A lot of it just goes and sits on the bottom, but now that we have the cleanup crew, that won't be happening. That wraps up today's video. We went out there, caught a big old cleanup crew for the mini saltwater pond. It's definitely gonna benefit this thing. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see some more videos, let us know in the comments down below what you wanna see. With that being said, see y'all in the next one. See you!